Hello, Michael here with another Redshift tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to put a looping sequence of images to be played through a light source in Redshift with Houdini. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So I've already got a scene set up here in Houdini. You'll see the camera there and I've already got my render operator set. Uh, one thing I will mention that for this I'm using photon mapping for the global illumination which for this sort of light is all you really need. However you could use it with any GI that you need to, it will work the exact same. So what we'll do here is start by adding a light in and I'll just make sure the camera can actually see the front of the light. And I've created a JPEG sequence uh, just pulled from a GIF off the internet so I'm just going to add that in to this light and we'll just do a quick render to see what it looks like at the baseline. Okay so you'll see it's just a white light and you will want to make sure that visibility is enabled obviously if you want to be able to see the pattern that your light has on it or the image that your light has on it. So next we'll need to use texture for our light and then we'll get the texture tab there and we're going to find our file sequence and you'll see I've got this hypnosis $f2.jpg sequence here. Make sure when you open your file, you want to find out what your frame padding is. So that's F2, that means it's frame padding of 2. And how many frames you've got. And I've got 27 here, so that's 0. Starting from 0 would make it 27. If it started from 1, it would be 26. So we'll open that and make sure we just show sequences just to make sure it's easier to find. So now we've got this hypnosis $f2.jpg. Now as it is, it's not going to run the sequence. It will render it. And you'll see that the gamma is incorrect here. So I'm just going to enable gamma and change it to 2.2, still a bit purple, 2.5. So if I scrub forward, I'll get to frame 26 and run out of GIF. So as is, if you just want that one second's worth, that would be fine, but we actually want to loop this. So I'm going to go up here into my file name and I'm going to add in apostrophe pad zero, open parentheses, and this is going to be the padding number, so it's going to be two, and then comma, and then um, we're going to use dollar f percentage, and then the frame count, so that's going to be 27, and make sure you close your parentheses, and add in the apostrophe. So oftentimes if you've rendered a sequence, what you'll have is, uh, say for instance, it would be hypnosis dot the number, so dot one, and then dot JPEG. So if that's the case, you will need to put your full stop in there before your pad zero. Essentially what this is doing is it is replacing your frame padding number. So any, any part of your file name that is your frame padding, so it will be 0001, you change it to this. And if your frame padding is 4, you change that to B4. So now if we run the IPR, it should go past 26. So there you go. Now you've got this animating sequence that you can quite easily add to your light. Really useful for a lot of things where you want to have something that's animating. And if you're using photon mapping, it's going to render really, really quickly. These sorts of things you probably want to do with different render layers. Um, so consider that when you're rendering because with these with the texture light source it's going to introduce a lot of noise if you're using global illumination. Um, so yeah, think about isolating them um, because at least this way you're going to be able to get them in perspective very easily if you want to add them into your shot and compositing in Nuke or Infusion or whatever. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.